that the plane was coming from this direction, hit the trees, spun horizontally, and landed over here. That date's been set, but some guidelines will still be in place, like wearing masks when you go out into public. There's no coffee in line, but we do have some kettle corn that's starting to pop over here, and that definitely adds to the excitement. And for patients, they're not going to be gathering in a waiting room, most likely staying in their cars and waiting to be called in. It's hard to tell, but this is the path to the front door. Now, everything covered in rubble. Brown says he feels like people can barely walk out their front doors without being within arm's reach of their neighbors. The governor has made a lot of promises to voters. Tonight, we'll see for the first time if Kentucky can pay for it. New details this afternoon from the Madison County Coroner reveal we won't know if this is or isn't Sheena Baxter until at least tomorrow. I'm, I'm traumatized, I'm not going to lie. In about 48 hours, Sheena Baxter went from a missing mother to a missing murdered mother, and Georgetown police say remains found Tuesday in Richmond are hers. I mean, I have my moments where I break down and I'm thinking of the worst things, you know, and how she felt in the moment. And we talked to Baxter's sister, Krista Crumley, outside of court before the body was even found. The Madison County Coroner says it was wrapped in plastic at Inside Out Storage. That unit is less than two miles away from the home of Joseph Hicks, Baxter's ex. Hours earlier, Hicks was charged with her murder. He was already in jail. We have a uh, overwhelming amount of evidence indicating to us that a homicide uh, has occurred and that Mr. Hicks is responsible for that homicide. Baxter went missing on Valentine's Day from outside her sister's house. That same night, police say Hicks lied about being involved in an armed robbery, leaving him with a gunshot wound, which is now tied to Baxter's murder. Investigators confirm she and Hicks had been talking again. It appeared to be mutual contact. It wasn't a stalking situation, if that's what you're asking about. As for Baxter's sister, Crumley says Tuesday in court, she was glaring Hicks down with everything she had. I wanted him to feel how hurt, you know, how we're feeling. The heartbreak of having to tell Baxter's three daughters that they lost their mom and her own loss of her baby sister. We were day and night, but that that's the thing. Something I couldn't be, she could. She made up where I was lacking. <laughs> In Georgetown, Monica Harkins, ABC 36 News. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three meals a day. Three meals a lot of us now find ourselves eating at home. Food is something that can definitely soothe us, can give us comfort. And if you're like me, you might be wondering, am I snacking too much? Can I eat better to boost my immune system? I sat down with an eating disorder dietitian, Megan Medrano, on Zoom. She says it's better to focus on maintaining your routine during this time of change. There aren't any specific foods that can necessarily, you know, prevent this virus from occurring or prevent us from getting those things. And really, you know, what we just want to be focusing on is just kind of keeping things normal, not stressing our body out too much. Stress like worrying about the quarantine 15. If gaining weight um, is the worst thing that happens to you during this pandemic, then you're actually probably pretty lucky. And while turning to a diet might have been a normal response to expected weight gain during a time of high anxiety like right now, Medrano says a diet could be more harmful than beneficial. Our bodies really like consistency. They don't really like things to change very much. Um, and especially just to support our immune system, we want things to stay um, pretty regular. If you find yourself reaching for a snack in between meals, Medrano says go for it. Snacking is one of those things I think it's demonized as a whole. And don't beat yourself up for, you know, just satisfying your, your biological needs. But if you find yourself constantly going back to the pantry, ask yourself if you're truly hungry. Food is something that can definitely soothe us, can give us comfort. Um, but just like any coping skill, we don't want to just have one thing that we're relying on to get comfort. So while brownies are delicious, their sweetness is only temporary. In Lexington, Monica Harkins, ABC 36 News. The world has stopped. Learning does not. School is a big part of life in the King family, and it was well before this pandemic. Area King teaches classes that help kids transition to college or a career, and his wife, Casey, is the registrar, both at Frederick Douglass High School. Add one high schooler and two middle schoolers. So you really do, like she said, you have skin in the game. Not that we, we had never been there before because we've always been involved with our students, with our children, not our students, our, our children. They are your students uh, now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, actually being a part of that 
you know, I think there's going to be a lot of good memories come out of this for them. More rural districts have used NTI, non-traditional instruction, often for years. But in Fayette County, where snow days aren't as frequent, this is the first time Fayette County Public Schools have turned to NTI for instruction, something the Kings say is fitting for a non-traditional time. NTI is very necessary. Initially confusing, now not, not at all. Um, like I said, there were a lot of a yes. lot of kinks worked out that first week. Understandably, that means mom and dad have to help out, especially when it comes to math. Yes. Lots yes. of it. Yeah. On three different grade levels. Yeah. So that's been interesting. But on the bright side, their desk by day doubles as the game table by night. What's it like for 11-year-old Veda to spend more time with her parents? I know a little light, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, her words. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't go hard to say that. <laughs> I know, I know. What I do know. you think about it, though? I, I really like it. I like spending time with my family. Veda says she misses seeing her friends, and online learning has its flaws. Like sometimes it's hard to have a clear understanding of what the teacher wants us to do. With the rest of this academic school year at home, a lot of parents don't know if the 2020-2021 school year will be more of this or back to in-person classes. My hope is we go back. Until then, the Kings will follow the recommended steps, even if it means stop. Hammer time. In Lexington, Monica Harkins, ABC 36 News.